Hey, if you don't know, my desk is right next to the kitchen, kind of like that's where the dining room used to be and this is where the living room used to be. And it's in a really awkward space because whenever Dom comes through the front door that way or if he comes down the hall from his bedroom into the kitchen, uh, he makes a lot of noise and I don't work well with noise. And I'm right here on the balcony where the garbage trucks come every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it seems like. And I just have a lot of noise here. So Dom asked if I'd wear headphones, but I can't because my ears are extremely sensitive and they hurt my ears. I have a hard time even wearing earbuds. So for that reason, I've decided to move this desk into my bedroom. And so this morning, I decided to take a box out of my bedroom that had books in it. And that led to these four boxes and this box and then all of these jigsaw puzzles that I'm listing for sale because I don't need this stuff anymore. And I cannot do a stepper anymore. This is a high step. I can't do that anymore, so I'm listing that. I put the rest of my jigsaw puzzles down there. I have one more that's 10 in one there. And then I reduced all my books to just that. So messy. Okay. So pull it Sometimes the nails. Okay. So what we'll have to do is this. You almost need like a, a pivot screw. You want to put that there, you? Oh, is that to form the hole? Yeah. And then if you put this one in mm. here, and then it'll catch it, and then you decide how far, okay. how much you want to do. So use that one there, Jude. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Get some of those screws a little bit dull, Jim. You think? Um, so I'm put a hook here, Jim. This isn't working. Either. What's that? I'll get it out of here. I guess it'll work. I'm going to have to clean now. I'm making progress, slowly. I brought some the corn plant in here, and I brought some of my crystal skulls back in here, and I still have to do all of this. I 
converted an old bookshelf into a shoe shelf. Got all my little flip-flops there as well. So winter, summer, everything's there. That's just a stool that I used to get up into my closet. I took the rack out where you hang the clothes. I put shelves. That's all my camping stuff up there. This is all my clothes that don't fit into either this dresser or that dresser because that's all my bras and underwears and socks. That's all t-shirts and that's all this type of legging pant. I've ordered collapsible boxes that are meant for clothes storage. So that will come today and I can organize all of this. Hi, honey. Did you just find the room? Hi. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetheart. I know. They arrived. It's time to do the closet. Well, that certainly is better. Get away from it. Lift it up. Yeah. And now, no, don't touch your hands. Now, and here, you can put your hand here. Okay. Now, you're going to push on the trigger just to get the feel of it. It doesn't work. You push that down. Oh, okay. Okay, so try that. Okay. Okay. So now you're gonna do. You're oh, gonna... the saw's on this side. Yep. Okay. Okay. So this line is what you're gonna cut. Like that. Yeah. You see the line right there. Uh, hold on. Hold on. It'll be a little bit against here. You'll you'll get a sense of it right there. So. Oh yeah. Okay. That's what. It, so now oh, you're okay. you're gonna bring it back first before you start going to it. Okay. Now you're gonna. Push it. I'm looking at this line. No, no. Well, it's like a sewing machine, trust me. Okay, good enough. Yep. Okay, as long as you feel confident. Sorry, what's that? What's that? That's this thing moving. Oh, that, that'll just move the cover, but you don't oh, need okay. to worry about it. Keep it, keep it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got okay, it. Go I ahead. Got it. I don't have to be perfect, by the way. No. Oh. oh my god, that was so cool. Okay, so I'm going to go get some, some sandpaper. Oh. Dirty, but cool. Oh. Oh, you're gonna sand the edges. I'm not saying that. You're gonna get, you're gonna get rid of the rusty parts. But this is just particle board. I know, but it's not gonna really hit rough. No, edges. I know, but you're just gonna go in and. Oh, anyway. I see. Nope. I see. Just top stuff. There you go. And okay, here are the edges. Okay, yeah, I got it. Oh, this is a quick little okay. okay, got it. Yep. Woohoo! Okay, so you're okay with? That's great. That's yep. Okay. That works. Thank you. There you go. So you prefer this basket. Is it because this basket's on the bed or because it's bigger or because it has no blankie? Hi. Hi. You okay, dear? That is a better basket for you. Yeah, I think it's a better basket for you. Yeah, I think you know exactly what you need. Yeah. Okay, this basket it is. It's all yours. And I've decided to put that basket up there because I know she likes to leap up and she'll want to sleep in there. Buffy needs lots of places to hide and sleep. These are the things that I bought for the closet. Oh, hello, Buffy. <laughs> Sorry, I'll shut the light off in a moment. Um, what I like about these is I can see what I have. I like the zipper, but... I don't like the fact that they collapse. I didn't realize they were going to be so soft. If I had known that, I would have spent a little more money and bought something harder. That said, how can I correct this? Well, you know, truthfully, I could just put a cardboard box inside that and cut this space out. There's always ways to MacGyver things. Because I do like this color and I do like the fabric and I like the fact that I bought six of them for $30. I mean, they were reasonably inexpensive. I just don't like the fact that they're collapsing. I was looking for something more solid and secure for my closet. As a result of shifting the room, I've discovered that I brought in one of my Tibetan singing bowls. I thought I was going to be selling all my bowls that might not be the case. I did have my drum up there, but I like it better there. That's the east wall. Uh, that kind of feels like sunrise or sunset to me, but it just feels right in that space. Dawn put this curtain up to hide all the stuff from my closet. I wasn't sure I was gonna like it, but you know what, I do. So yesterday, when I was reconfiguring my room, I put rice paper 
on my lower windows and on my upper windows. I have a blind, but it still gets so hot in this room that without it, it just, it swelters. That, that's mesh. I had to repair the mesh first. And then I put the rice paper on and that prevents me from looking at that ugly building next door too. So it's twofold. And I put it on the two outside windows and on this window because my computer is here and I don't want it overheating so that acts as a barrier. I don't always want to keep this down because this blocks the light. I still want some light to come in. Are we going to go back to work now? I was cutting bread and sliced my thumb. I've been pock and potting, which means point of creation, point of destruction. And it takes all the trauma out of the body and out of the cells. I had to go downstairs and get Dom. And then I had to walk up. He was in the backyard. Hi, Buff. And then... <laughs> okay. Do you want to come lay over here? I'm having a conversation. Looks like with myself. No, I'm okay. Honestly, I'm okay, hon. Uh, but yeah, I guess I lost a bit of blood. And watch the phone. Watch you don't knock over the phone, honey. Yeah, yeah. Lay down. Okay, lay down and I'll love you. Yeah, I'll lay down and I'll love you. Anyway, I just went passed out. But the funny thing was, I was laying on the bathroom floor after Dom helped me bandage it. And because I couldn't get up, I, thought, I just thought I was going to pass out. And we were laughing because, do you remember, it's just a little wound? Well, that's what I kept telling myself the moment I saw it. It's just a little wound. I'm not going to die from this. And I know enough because I've cut myself. Muffy, come on here. I've cut myself enough times to know you press the skin together and then press down and that will help the cells to immediately start repairing, regenerating. And of course, if you do Reiki, it's massively helpful, as is pocking and potting, uh, because pocking and potting removes all the trauma three seconds prior to the point of creation of the cut and to three seconds after the point of destruction. Really gonna show them your butt? Anyway, it hurts. It's throbbing now, but I can get up and walk around. I don't feel so woozy. Uh, but yeah, we were laughing because it was like, I was laying on the floor and I was like, hey, do you remember that skit that we did? Like, that was so spontaneous. That's just dumb. And I just captured it. That's all. He said, hey, wasn't that the same night? I was like, oh my God, did we manifest it? <laughs> well, pocket pod that too, right? I took the Band-Aid off because it, was, it wasn't wide enough. The gauze wasn't wide enough. And unfortunately, it opened the wound. That's the wound. It's pretty deep. I really hope I didn't cut a tendon or a nerve or anything, but I do believe it will heal. I just need to wrap it correctly. Truthfully, there's too much separation of skin, but I think once I get the ga the, ga the proper gauze, I can close that. I guess the upside of this happening today is that it's helped me to realize that there were some missing items in my hiking first aid kit which as a result of this, I've now put in. So what many of you probably do not know about me is that I'm an artist. And this is one of my drawings. I love black and white as the medium for artwork. This is a copy, a print of my original. And what I decide to do with this is wrap this around the pot. But it's too long this way. If I water the plant and water comes out, it's going to wet the artwork. So I need to trim this with a ruler, a cutting board, and an X-Acto knife. And now that's wide enough to put on the pot to create interest without it getting wet. So now I've trimmed it even more. And that's the finished product. I don't know about you, but I like that. 
I heard a clunk, and I knew this fan wasn't operating correctly. I didn't know what was wrong, but I knew it wasn't right. So I called Dom. And good thing, because it might have fallen down. I was going to turn the light on to get better lighting. I'm literally putting a screw through the bracket. So now it's not going nowhere. I'm going to lift this up, hon. Okay. And we're going to put the fan again the way it was before. Bracket, or you can't do that. I might have to put the other one there. Okay, well, I gotta take that down now. Okay, no problem. Usually in order to do all of this. Grounding first. This one also has constant power, so preferably do that one last. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the ground, pushing it inside the box. That's out of the way. Now you have your neutral. It's white with white. Usually you're not going to get a shock for that unless you have back feet, so that's that. On fans, usually you have color coding. So the blue, usually blue or red, that's usually des designated for the light because this has a light to it. So I'm going to connect that. Switch shouldn't be on, but just in case, treat it like as though it is on. So you connect that in. Now the one that's going to go, and it's not on, but. All they see is fingers, by the way. What's that? All they see is fingers and wires. Okay. okay. Well, I was talking out loud, so yeah. I can just hear it. So now I'm going to connect this one. This looks to make sure the fan didn't go on, but I'll find out. Nope, didn't go on. Good. Because sometimes the, the trigger on the fan could be on. So that goes here. And then what we'll do is we'll put these, the screw back on like that. And then hopefully this can go back like that. If not, I have to glue that back on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is move around and put the screws on. that's been fixed, I can get back to daily routine. Are you hungry? Buffy? Okay. Gypsy, do you want some lunch? It's almost lunch time. No, it's not. It's only 9.30, guys. But Buffy, you're hungry, eh? Are you dapping? I'm not dapping. I'm not dapping. A little dap will do it. That's better. Before, it used to kind of rock back and forth. It's designed to do that, but but it was a rockin' just a little too much. That's perfect. No more clunk. There you go. Should I technically be wearing glasses? Uh, Safety glasses. I have a pair. It's always good for you, but you know, in this case, the, the amount that you're doing, you're not going to be doing a lot of dust. But if it was like metal shavings and all that, I would I would say yes. But wearing a safety goggle is like wearing a hard hat. It's good to practice it. It's kind of like having tea ready for me on a regular basis. No, no, didn't line up. No, I did. No, I didn't. Spin it. Spin it. No, no. Let, don't put your hand there. Spin it and see it. Can't. Does it look like straight? Okay, you got it straight. Okay, good enough. My apologies. Okay. Um, yeah, plugs. I can do the, I'll do all the raw plugs and then I'll measure the, all the mm -hmm. other ones. So at this point now, screw these ones in. Well, I need a few to screw. make the other holes. I know, but screw the rest of them so you at least have an idea of what's going on and then... No, I already did all the marking. 
I know, but put them in. Aren't you done? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to keep two of them to do the other ones. Uh, three, I guess. Well, three of them or two of them, whatever. This way you know exactly what you're doing and uh, you don't have to, I don't have your washers. If I have to get washed, I'll go get washers. Will you grab me one of the baskets? It's on my dresser right there. Okay. Tighter? I'll have a tighter jib, so this way it's tighter. I just want to get washers. Okay. You know. Maybe a washer. Because that might have weight on it, yeah. and I'm scared that'll break. Do you want to grab some washers? Yeah, I'll go get washers. I got, I got the one. What am I doing? Well, you have extra cups for now that you can use. Yeah, but I have to do tape measure marking, right? Okay. Yeah. So, I don't have to measure this. Oh, I guess I can measure it from. Yeah. I can't do that. You know what I would do, Jude? Quickly measure from here to here. Measure from there to there. Okay. okay, so what do we got here? From there to there? 34 and a half, exactly. Okay, now measure from there to there. From there to there? About 44 and two strikes. Okay. Not quite a quarter. Okay, so at that point, now you got to do 34 and a half minus 44 and two strikes minus 34 and a half, and that's what you're going to get from here to here. Oh, well, i got to write that down. I won't remember. Okay, well, let's say. Because these two aren't level, Jude. Those aren't level. Mm -hmm. This one and that one, they're not. That's why if you put the line on, they're not level. Well, how do they do that? Right. Te technically, what you can do, Jude, is this. Okay. 34 and a half. Okay. Hold that. Hold that there for you. 34 and a half. There's nothing wrong with making marks. Okay. 34 and a half. Okay. So from here to there. Okay. So what we have here is we got roughly six inches. Let's, no, no, you just go, go from here to here. Nine and, nine and three quarters, that's all we need to know. We just need to know nine and three quarters from here. Nine and three quarters. Look at you. That's nine and a half. I want nine and three quarters. Get out of there. <laughs> get out of there. Holmes, go get some lunch. No, you have to move it seriously. You're down there. You got to move uh, it. You, you, you got to move it. it. Oh. I got to see it. Okay, so now that's there. Okay, so now you measure from here to here. Yeah. What do we got? 34 ish. No, 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 Thirty-three and three quarters. Thirty-three and three quarters. I don't know my math. Okay. I'm like, God, we're way up here. Thirty-three. And three quarters. We got nine. I'm sure it was thirty-three and three quarters. Jude, Jude, and nine. Can we measure it again? Sure. Who measured? I thought okay. it was thirty-four and three quarters. Thirty-three no, right. and three quarters. And because this is in the way, unfortunately, but thirty-three and three quarters. Well, pick it up. So no, no, leave it. I already got to screw it on. Here's your hole. Drill? You gotta you make all you gotta clean that up too. Okay, drill your hole. Drill the hole. Drill the hole, Jude. That's your job. You're measuring it, drilling holes. You're gonna be screwing. Just make it work. Make it work. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. There you go. You made it work. And I'll do these tall ones. You still have two more. No. Second. I think I'm in wood. Okay, I'll find out. Probably, I wouldn't be surprised. So I don't need a, a plug then? No, I can probably just use a screw. Oh. Let me see. Let me see what we got in there. Oh, I need to get away from that, my puppy. Okay. Yeah, you hit wood. Okay, so knowing that, you need a washer. And that. We just need to put one slightly higher, centered, mm -hmm. and slightly lower, centered. Thirty-seven and a quarter. Oh my God. No, you didn't. You, no, you, you you moved some. So somewhere along the line, Jude, um, you made everything over here. So it's okay. So knowing that, then Jude, it still is good to go. With, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. No. Okay. So knowing that. Just for the illusion, because no matter what we do here, these are going to be off by ever so lightly. Do you want this still centered? Because if we yeah. move this one, then you're going to notice that this one here will be off by a, by a bit. Because I think. But it's going to be plants, so who cares? <laughs> okay, so knowing that. Okay, now it's a matter of do you want it lower than these? Yeah, I was thinking I would have it just a bit lower. Drill away. Oh, I'm probably going to hit wood here again. Maybe. That you can hit wood. Oh, because it's one that way. Depends what, no, it depends what the studs are. That one you hit wood there, so every 16 inches. Um, okay. 
I'll get that one. Okay. <laughs> I got it, Mama. Can you give me that last one that's on the uh, on the ledge there, Jude? I'll put that one on for you. And then the other three, I'll get the screws ready for you, and you can do all that after. That is my finished wall. I have to say, I'm quite pleased with all of this. Now I'm wondering if I should put some more planters there and there, because I still have six of them left. It's time to redress this wound. This thing has been wet and dirty for the last two days. I'm a little nervous to look at it. How is it healing? Huh. That's not too bad. Obviously the Reiki must be helping. As is the bandage. I think I'll use 70% alcohol. Just to really clean it. I have mobility. I have motion. I can't straighten it as much. So I've definitely done something there. It's in this section. So probably I can't move it backwards. So, see this one? I can't do that with this one. So I've definitely severed something. Oh well, at least I have a thumb and it still works. I guess that's the most important thing. So Nurse Dom had to help me. Doctor, Doctor Dom. No, I'm just neighbor Dom. Okay. <laughs> um, so let's cut it. So now I'm going to put the waterproof tape on it just to keep it dry and clean. Because I seem to get my hands wet a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need one more. Thank Oops, thanks. Babe. Okay. You okay there, huh? Can you cut that mm -hmm. across there? On an angle. Yeah. And it's kind of like a quilt. I'd change it after a day or so. You don't leave it, leave it too long this time. Yeah, I know. The other one's pretty custy. Did you see it? Well, I know. But then you want it to heal it. So, like I said, let, leave it. It actually maybe, is healing. Yeah, I, I think know, but I would leave it, take it off after a day, redo all of that. Just do you know what I need? I need like a little rubber thing, but it needs to air it. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, well, that's it. So I've definitely lost something. I can't bend the thumb, but at least I have a thumb and I can still work with it. And it does this, so I think I'll know after it's fully healed.